So sometimes when you've created a live event, you actually want to sell the video that's generated after at the time of purchase. So when someone's looking at a live event, we want them to be able to purchase the live event plus another option, which is the live event plus the VOD. Uh, this can be accomplished with bundles. So we're going to show you how to get this set up here. First, we're going to create a new live event. We do need some test text here to save that. Then we're going to go to the stream section. We're going to make it available for pre-registration, which that puts it on your catalog with the countdown timer that you've all seen. And then we're going to go to pricing. And in this situation, I'm just going to not include this in my subscription plans, but I'm also going to set a one-time purchase price here. So $4.99. Okay. So now if I open this link, there should be a single purchase option here, which is this $4.99 baking bread masterclass live. Uh, so what we want to do is get, create that second option and that's going to be done via the bundle. So we're going to go to the bundles, add a fixed price one, baking bread masterclass live plus VOD. We can make that available for purchase. So what's actually going to happen here is after I'm done my live class, Uscreen is going to automatically upload that video into the video section and I'm going to add it to this bundle later. So I'm just going to put a little note here for our customers. Um, VOD will be available 24 hours after live event is complete. And we're going to up the price on this one because we're getting two pieces of content here. I'm going to create that. And we just have to add uh, that live event to this bundle. I'm going to hit finish. And so now, when, I, when someone clicks this button, they're going to see two options here. One is just the, the video, and then the other one is the live plus the video on demand. So they know they're getting two pieces of content if they purchase this one. Okay, so then the next kind of um, thing we need to do here, we need to actually run this event. I'm going to grab my stream key here. I'm going to open OBS. Let's go to settings, stream. We're going to paste this in. We're going to hit start streaming. So as soon as you start streaming here, you're actually going to have the video appear under videos and it's going to be transcoding. I didn't upload a thumbnail, so that's why that looks broken there. But in this case, I'm going to let it run just a little bit and I might as well hit go live just so it's all official here. And then I'm going to stop my stream in OBS. And we're going to finish this event here. Now we should see our video here, which is perfect. So what I would actually want to do is publish this just so it's available to customers. And then, so at the end of each live event that you run, you need to go back to your bundle and you need to click on assign content and actually grab that uh, new VOD that's been created. So now anyone that purchased this bundle will immediately have access to that VOD. So it's important that you try to do this as soon as possible after your live event's finished. Of course, we might be transcoding this video if it's you know an hour or two, it might take um, 15, 20 minutes for us to finish that transcoding. Um, and that's why I put in the description there that the video on demand would be available within 24 hours. Just gives you some time. If you have things to do right after the event, you have a bit of time to come back into your screen later than add that VOD. To the bundle. So as far as the user is concerned, they don't have to do anything from their end. They'll just get access when they log in next and they should see that extra video on demand there. So that's it for uh, selling a live event plus uh, the VOD at the end as well.